What is going on everyone? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. This is episode 101, part 2. So if you guys missed any of the action in part 1, then do be sure to head on over and check that one out. As you can see, we're going to be kicking off part 2 with a tag team match from the women's division. And we have got Girl Gamer Resi and BBD Gaming, resident gamers. And they're going to be taking on the new team of Danny and the current BUW Women's Champion, Pinky Ness. Who's going to get the win here? Let's find out. So if you guys do enjoy this one, then make sure to hit the like for Mike, slap any comments down below, and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on your notification bell to stay up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. This is gonna be good! The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. The tag division has Making their way down to the ring first. BVD Gaming, Girl Gamer Resi, Resident Gamers. And this is going to be a stiff test for this duo. Who have put in some uh, pretty impressive performances as of late. Especially Resi, who uh, scored a huge win at Wrestleverse. Defeating the former women's champion... Alice Bloodline Sarah. I'm not going to keep that momentum going. Of course, Alice Bloodline is not finished with these two just yet. One of the best competitors in the women's division. And their opponents first from Newport, Wales, the Queen, Danielle. 
And their opponents first, making her way down to the ring. The co-owner of BUW, Danny. There's nothing wrong with being about serious. There's no time for please and thank you. Sometimes I wish you'd Of course, uh, Danny at Reserverse ended her long losing streak by defeating Kissable Demon at Wrestleverse. She is inside the uh, demonic for the broken asylum match. but fell to the demon on last week's 100th episode in a no holds barred match and many have considered match of the night and from Birmingham England the WWE Women's Champion Hannah Green and her tag team partner, the current BUW Women's Champion, Pinky Ness. And Pinky, on last week's episode, lost a champion versus champion match against the WWA Women's Champion, Ray. Which was a shock upset. Doesn't matter if the title's on the line here tonight. This woman lives to compete under. Be interesting to see how Pinky Ness and Danny get on as a team. And they are after the one championship that both of them have yet to capture in BUW, and that's the tag team titles. Could they possibly do it? Anyway, it's going to be Danny and Rezzy starting things off with their respective teams. And Danny gets planted straight away with a DDT. And Rezzy getting on, trying to get under the crowd's skin. I don't know. The rake in the back. Rezzy sent into the corner. And there's a blind tag. In comes BVD. The former Intercontinental Champion in the women's division. And Danny and BVD have had their fair share of history over the last few years. And pulling on that arm. I can see both teams are not going to be afraid to bend the rules here. And Danny hits BVD with a boot to the face. And there's a tag to Pinky Ness, the current women's champion. Who of course retained her championship at Wrestleverse. Defeating Hannah and Mini Demon. In the uh, first ever main event at Wrestleverse for the women. Oh a knee to the face there. And Pinky. With a spinning toe hold. And an old classic move there. That is very effective. And BVD has uh, Pinky by the head. And there's a tag to Rezzy, the former WWA Women's Champion. Oh, and a kick to the spine. And we say Rezzy, probably one of, them, one of the more improved superstars over the last 12 months or so. Rezzy with the counter. As Pinky. And look at this power here. Military press. And Pinky makes a tag. In comes Danny. And I believe this is the first time meeting between these two. I don't believe Rezzy and Danny have ever squared off in any competition. And Danny working on the right arm of Rezzy. Now pulling on the left arm. The making both her arms pretty much useless. And Danny pulling on the face of Rezzy. Will Rezzy submit? No. Rezzy with the mat slam and a kick to the ribs. And in comes BVD back in. The right, finding their way and a version of the broken coat there and well, I think BVD was just telling Danny to kiss it. And a tag to Pinky. 
And the powerhouse. That is Pinky Ness. Delivers a fall away slam to BBD. Oh, and look at this strength. Look at this power. Just drops BBD onto the canvas cover. And a near fall. And even Rezzy decided to try and save her partner. But BBD thinks she had that covered. A couple of rib breakers and gets tossed around like a like a salad. And then comes Rezzy. And then comes Danny. Tags in both corners. Snap German suplex to Pinky Ness from BVD. And there goes Danny crashing to the outside. And the more experienced resident gamers holding their own against two fantastic individual wrestlers. Now look at this from Rezzy, slamming Danny onto the fin padding. Sending Danny across ringside. Rezzy just doing some stretches while waiting for Danny to enter the ring. Danny with a few elbow strikes. Gets out of trouble. Kicks in the midsection. Swinging net breaker. And follows up with a backflip. A lock up. And takes down Rezzy. And drops the knee onto the shoulder. And there's a tag to Pinky Ness. Now the tides have turned on this match. The two powerhouses. Rezzy and Pinky Ness and look at that Rezzy able to counter the counter pink oh my goodness she wasn't able to counter Pinky that time there's a tag in both corners once again BVD and Danny the two legal superstars Danny gets caught to the gut in the midsection and there's a running hip attack into the cover not even a two count. Danny gets saved there by Pinky Ness. Danny ducks. Kicks in mixed section. And Danny's going for it. Queen's thrown. Cover. Oh, and that was close. Near fall for Danny. Maybe Pinky can finish the job. A BVD with the counter. Dragon screw. Oh, look at BVD here. Oh, wait a sec. She's got Pinky Ness in the Aussie lock. Is Pinky going to submit? And there goes Danny off the apron. Pinky's in trouble. And she taps. And... BVD just made the BUW Women's Champion submit here in this tag match. Not a great start for this team of Danny and Pinky. But it's a huge win for the resident gamers. Especially for BVD who got the decision. And made the current Women's Champion Pinky Ness submit. And that's a rare sight to behold. Seeing Danny here at the Queen's Throne. Thought that was it. And look at this. Beautiful wrestling there. Brilliant maneuver. And there was the Aussie lock. And there was nowhere for Pinky to go. Danny just stood by in the ring apron before she got knocked off by Rezzy. And Pinky could not hold on. Here are your winners. And these two really so here are your winners. BVD and Girl Gamer Rezzy, Resident Gamers. What a win that is for this tag team.
climbing the ladder. And possibly could be next in line and face the winners of the uh, Merciful Fate Max Attack Tag Team title match. You never know. We'll have to wait and see as time will tell. Great, great win there for the resident gamers. And we go on straight to our next match. It'll be uh, another tag match. This time from the men's division. And it will be... <clears throat> Casey Hoyt, the former global champion. And he's going to team with an old rival of his, Cadigan. And they'll be taking on the team of Scott Robertson and the current global champion, Jackson Oak, who will face Casey Hoy in a rematch for that championship down the line at Wrestleverse Backlash. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cadigan Club. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Ireland, weighing in at 161 pounds, Wildcat. You are looking at some highly motivated making his way down to the ring first representing Cadigan Club of the entire WWE Cadigan and uh, well, this is a first time that he will be teaming with Casey Hoyt could he possibly be looking for new recruits in the Cadigan Club only he will be able to provide us with that answer and hopefully we'll get an answer from him he definitely plans to steal the show tonight this young man's done it already he's a former UK champion a United States champion 
and a Ruthless Rumble match winner. So do not underestimate his size. And his partner from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 330 pounds, Casey Holt. And his tag team partner, the former global champion, Casey Hoyt. And should Cadigan and Casey get the win here, what kind of fit would uh, this man be to Cadigan Club? You can imagine the amount of damage he could pull off. And this man's a... He's a beast, he's a titan. And obviously not happy that he's no longer global champion. Fire. And from Scotland, weighing in at 249 pounds, Scott Robertson. Hey, and their opponents course. first, making his way down to the ring. Yeah, what for? Scott Robertson. Superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? Scott Robertson unable to uh, capture the, the WWE Championship at Wrestleverse. And he's turning his attentions, at least for now, to at least for, for this match at least, tag team in with the current global champion, Jackson Oak. One of the best superstars around. And from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 199 pounds, the global champion, Jackson O. And making his way down to the ring, the current BUW global champion, Jackson Oak. And yes, Jackson Oak finally captured his first singles championship at Wrestleverse. And what seemed like an impossible task against Casey Hoyt, but he pulled it off. Adding to his uh, one tag team championship victory that he had back in the days of the shift. And now has a singles belt to show for it. For all his hard work. Returned at the Ruthless Rumble this year. And has gone on to do great things. He said he wants to be the most dominant champ in history, so he will not let and up. He will face Casey situation. Hoyt in a rematch at WrestleVerse Backlash. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen in that one. If Jackson can keep hold of the gold. So it looks like it's going to be Cadigan and Scott Robertson to start things off for their respective teams and here we go when you think of tag teams that are itching to make Robertson with a net breaker you don't have to look any further than these two Cadigan springboard cross body nicely done there lovely suplex taking down the big Scott a snap here and drops the knee onto the face. And look at Cadigan go here. Now dishing out the left, ha left hands now. 
has the arm. Now stomping. Kicks to the, Kicks to the back. back. Twisting the arm. Oh, he's got the other arm. What's he going to do? Oh, no. Bending those fingers back and drives both knees into the spine. Oh, man. You can see he is feeling it now. Cadigan's very cunning. We know that. He's resilient. And he's got wins over the biggest superstars imaginable. And right now he's t he's really taking it to Robertson. Into the cover here. Will this be it for the win? No, just a one count. And Cadigan can't believe it. Cadigan tagging in the uh, former global champion Casey Hoy. And look at this clash. These two gladiators, these two huge men. Hoyt with the right hand. Sending Robertson into the corner. Robertson able to kick, get an elbow up. Oh, and look at this release suplex. And Scott tags in the global champion. A lock up. Casey Hoyt as Jackson Oak. Oh, snake eyes. There's a tag to Cadigan. Left hand. Oh, and a nice, nice uh, maneuver there from Jackson. Toying with Cadigan, but Cadigan now. Oh, inverted DDT. Cadigan again with those left hands. Been very lethal with those left hands. Oh, look at that. Look, look, wait a second. Look at that. End of days. Is this enough for the victory here? And a near fall. Cadigan can't believe it. Tagging the to a Hoyt. Right hand. The waist lock. Oh, that wasn't going to work. Casey Hoyt just easing Jackson. And just slams Jackson into the, into the canvas of that military press. Casey going to the cover. Near fall, two count only. I think Casey Hoyt wasted a valuable time there with Jackson. Power bomb. Jackson with a counter, a few elbow strikes to the midsection. Hurricane Rana. And there's a tag to Robertson. Look at these two Titans clash. Imagine these two going one on one. Hung out to dry there was uh, Casey Hoyt. Kicks in the midsection. Double underhook. Future shock DDT. Robertson into the cover. Casey gets the shoulder up, but uh, had a bit of help from Cadigan. Good distraction there. Meanwhile, Jackson and Cadigan going at it, and Robertson landing haymakers on a grounded Casey Hoyt. Oh, and look at Robertson go there, stomping away. Kicks in the midsection. And a clubbing blow to the back of the head. And he's lining it up. Oh, and do you see Cadigan flip the bird? At ringside. Look out. Claymore. Will this do it? Wait a second. What happened there? Robertson. Off the top rope, drives the elbow into the heart of Casey Hoyt. I don't know if Cadigan caused a distraction and Scott got put off, but that would have been a free count, I'm sure of it. Vulcan Arrow. And Robertson taking it to Hoyt, and he makes a tag. In comes Cadigan. Sling Blade. As Scott 
suplex into the cover will this be enough here just a one count I've got to do more than that to keep Robertson down and Robertson lasted longer than anyone in the uh, men's ruthless rumble match earlier this year and slowly making a name for himself and in comes Jackson Oak Head scissors. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Stand up in Zaguri from, from uh, Oak. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. Kick oh, a kick to the face. What the? What a move there from Jackson. It's like a Uranagi. Not even a one count there. Shocking. Enough for a standing. Hard for me to say a standing Spanish fly there from Oak. Looking for a sent on. No one home. Edvary DDT. Cadigan was trying to stop the tag, but couldn't quite stop him from making the tag to Scott Robertson. And Cadigan just gets dumped out the ring. I think we are witnessing a career altering moment for these superstars, guys. Of course, no count outs are in effect once again. These men can do it whatever they want to each other within reason. Robertson now talking smack to Cadigan. Cadigan with a counter. Robertson with a counter. Oh, sit down, spine buster there. It's like the sky high. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Oh, onto the ring apron. Goes Cadigan. He's in. Bringing it back inside. Cadigan looking to make a tag. In comes Hoyt. And I don't personally blame Cadigan. The shot to uh, Hoyt. Multiple strikes from Cadigan. Oh, and look at this submission hold. S slinging him around like a rag doll. We saw a submission win in the women's tag match a little earlier. Will we see a second one? No. The ropes save Robertson. There goes Oak. Sent over by Cadigan. Hoy into the cover. Oh, and a near fall. So close for Casey and Cadigan. But he's got uh, Robertson up and slams him down with a power slam. And there's a save. Where did Oak come from? There goes Jackson. Oak, sorry, uh, Hoyt and Cadigan seem to be a formidable partnership at the moment. And Robertson almost gets power bomb through the ring. Kick from uh, kick away from Scott Robertson as Casey Hoyt and slams him with a power bomb. And he's going for it a second time. Will we see it? Claymore for the victory. Oh, and no, it's not over. Casey able to to uh, kick out. Yeah, the chant tag team wrestling. We are seeing a classic here. Power bomb. Cover. And after a hard fought battle, Casey Hoyt and Cadigan score a massive win over the makeshift team
of Scott Robertson and the global champion Jackson Oak what a battle absolutely insane So here are your winners of the match. Casey Hoyt and Cadigan. Could this be a new partnership for the young Irishman? I mean, Cadigan, I do believe, might be looking to recruit some new members to the Cadigan Club. Could we have seen the latest member? We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, folks that is it for part two we're at the halfway point once again and of course it is that time to take another quick break but if you have enjoyed this one then make sure to hit the like for mike slap any comments down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button as hard as you possibly can and click on the notification bell to stay up to date with all things gaming and all things buw so like I mentioned before, guys, we're at the halfway stage. We've still got five more matches still to come. And, of course, they'll come across the next two parts. So until then, guys, do take care. Enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you all in part three after this quick break.